the lowest point, he worked on a council road gang. Tracy Grimshaw was in court. Daryl Braithwaite took the stand for the first time today to refute a claim by two men who say they engineered the revival of his career. Simon Fenner and Nathan Brenner have alleged they were dumped shortly before the lucrative recording contract that resulted in Braithwaite's successful comeback album Edge in 1988. Braithwaite today described the low point in his life in 1987. He filed a tax return that year, declaring income of just $475. Owing more than $100,000, he went on the dole before accepting a labouring job with the Shire of Buller on a road gang building footpaths. I was not wanting to prostitute myself as a singer, he said. I Sydney to do club work. I aligned that with prostitution. Braithwaite said he was at an all-time low after his son had been born. I was overcommitted on a house and having a child, you realise you have to make ends meet. The singer told the court that several people had helped him rebuild his career from that point and that si he said Fenner provided moral support and enthusiasm and he admitted that at a dinner in June 1987 he had asked Fenner to be his manager to book live appearances. But he denied that Fenner or Brenner had made him a star. Braithwaite said that credit belonged to his wife, Sarah Taylor. Without her, it wouldn't have started, he said. The hearing continues. Tracy Grimshaw, National 9 News.